Hello, my dear family members. I know you are very much excited to know the latest question which was asked in Infosys exam. You know, in these days, I have been observing the question which were being asked in various companies' exam like Tech Mahindra, Accenture. They are not look like uh, very competitive. They are very basics and uh, like so solvable, right? But I have been observing that in Infosys exam, they are asking very competitive questions, right? And I will discuss today one of the competitive question so so the question is regarding unique survey sum okay so you are given an array a which consists of n integers find the total number of unique survey sum that are possible in a so i'll discuss the possible input output so please wait and be patient so note that a survey is a contiguous part of an array input format is this the first line contains an integer n denoting the number of elements in a each line i of the n subsequent lines where 0 less than equal to i less than n contains an integer describing a of i and here is the constant please follow that and here is the sample test cases but before i show you the sample test cases i would recommend you to have the prime materials of infosys where i have included all the recent coding questions with answers and if you want to give the mock test of infosys then also you can get our prime materials if you want then please let me know in the comment section or you can damn me at my id instagram.com slash techno.ef okay and if you want any other company's material in very affordable price then please let me know okay so let's see the sample test cases so the first input is this 5 is the size of the array 7 2 3 2 2 are the element of that array and 9 is output y because the total number of uh total number of uh combination possible i mean 5 plus uh, sorry 7 plus 2 7 plus 3 7 plus 2 7 plus 2 7 plus 2 plus 3 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 this way total combination possible is n into n plus 1 by 2 okay so n into n plus 1 by 2 here n is size of that array that means 5 so 5 into 5 plus 1 by 2 so 5 plus 1 means 6 6 into 5 in, is equal to 30 30 by 2 is 15 so total combination possible is 15 but out of that how many unique number possible unique sum possible we have to find it okay so as you can see here 7 is the unique sum 7 plus 2 is also an unique sum 7 plus 2 plus 3 that is 12 it's also a unique sum 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 that is 14 so it is also a unique sum and 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 is also 16 so it's also a unique sum that means it is not repeated and 2 alone 2 plus 3 5 and 3 alone and 2 plus 2 are also unique sum that's why total number of the, uh, this okay so total number of this sum is equal to 9 that's why we have to return that number that means 9 okay so let's see the another sample input so that it could be more easier to understand so here is the second sample input that is uh, size of that array is 5 and 4 10 5 2 2 are the elements of that array so 12 is output how i am explaining so four right so it's alone uh it's alone a unique sum they i mean two five ten four are all alone unique sums okay so four already taken then four plus ten alone uh, four plus ten then four plus ten plus five four plus ten plus five plus two four plus ten plus five plus two plus two they are all unique sum and then ten plus five ten plus five plus two ten plus five plus two plus two then five plus two then five plus two plus two this way total 12 combination possible that's why total unique sum is equal to 12 in this case okay so i hope you understood right so if you understood then please start solving by yourself if you can't solve then don't skip i am solving the problem in java and python both so if you want to get all that materials then let me know in the comment section okay or you can tell me at my study instagram.com slash techno.tf we have materials of Infosys, Accenture, Deloitte, Capgemini, Cognizant, TCS, etc, etc, right? So if you want, then please damn me. So let me show you the solution. Actually, I have written the solution. So let me start from the main method. So at first, we are initializing the array in L is equal to 72322. So this is the first sample input. And this is the length of that array in is equal to L dot length. And we are printing the method, I mean the function solve n comma l. So the, the solve method is taking two arguments that is the length and the array. Okay. So let me show you the implementation. So we are taking the static keyword that's so that we don't have to create object of that class and we can access this from the main method directly. Okay. And we are returning an integer that means the count of total sum 
sub array so that's why we are taking return type integer and the name of the function is solve and we are taking the length and the array okay then we are taking an integers type of set because we have to sort we have to get we have to arrange all the unique sum possible right inside that array so we are taking a set of integers named unique sums is equal to new hash set so hash set uh, class uh, is what the set is being implemented set is interface so set interface is being implemented being implemented by hash set class okay so as we are using set hash set so we have to import those from that package java.util okay so we are just importing those package okay then we are going through all the element of that array right so just let me copy paste it here so this is the first sample input okay so from this element to the second last element we are going and inside that we are also running another for loop for going through from this element to the last element then we are running another for loop also nested for loop which is only for some purpose okay so from this element from this element to the j element okay and this is not less than equal to this is just before of that j okay so what we are doing here at first we have initialized sum is equal to zero so at first the value of sum is zero so at the first iterations so it is only going on it is only running for one time because i is at first zero and j value is i plus one that is one so it is only going for one time that means sum was zero and the value of a k a k so a is the array so a of k means k is equal to zero so i is zero that means at the first iteration i zero so a of k means a of zero that is seven so seven right so the first iteration the value of sum is 7 and after this for loop so this for loop is ended okay because it is only running for one time and then unique sums dot add sum so in the set we are adding that sum and if this is not duplicate then it will be added if this is not uh, if this is duplicate then it will not be added okay then in the next iteration j is i plus 1 again it will be increased right so this way this way it will keep generating new sums so 7 plus 2 in the next iteration okay and this way 7 plus 2 plus 3 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 this way it will keep generating all the sums and after this for loop it will keep adding the sums and if this is already added then it will removed it will be removed okay so this way we'll get our total count how that is just return the unique sums i mean the set size will get the count okay unique sums dot size will get our desired output okay so let me just print it and see if this is giving right output or not so just let me run it so output should be nine in this case as expected and for this for this array the output should be 12 i guess yes 12 and for this the output should be 13 okay for the third sample input the output should be 13 okay so let me see yeah as expected so i hope you understood right so if, if you understood then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want to discuss more on this uh, in, uh, on any exam then please join our telegram channel t.me and if you want any prime materials of any company then let me know in the comment section or you can damn me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.uf okay so let me show you the python solution so the same logic i have implemented here okay so at first we are uh, initializing the array i mean list l is equal to 2 10 3 4 2 then we are getting the length we are not hard coding then printing the function value okay solve n comma l okay whatever it is returning then we are going to the implementation of that function so it is taking two arguments n is the length and a is the array okay then we are going through all the element i mean the second last element of that list and then we are going through i plus one to the n plus one because here in python n plus one this is 
excluded that's why we are going up to n value okay so up as we did in java we are going same in python just we are appending l dot append i mean in this l dot append sum of a to a of i is to j so we are not writing another for loop this is reducing in python okay so this way the, in this slicing process i is i is at first what i is at first zero j is what j is at first one so it is taking a of i to j and it is taking the sum in the same time and then it is appending in the list and after that after all that iteration we are getting the set of that list okay so we are just converting the set of that list okay so if we are getting set of that list then we will get the unique values okay it will remove the duplicate values and store in that list so we are just printing the length of that result list and we will get our desired output okay so let me run it i hope this will give proper output okay so for the first sample input this should give 13 and for so just let me comment it and for the second it should give 12 and the for first this should return 9 so as expected right so if you didn't understand yet then please comment down i will try to assist you okay and if you want to discuss the discuss more and if you want to get update about uh, various companies then please join our telegram channel t.mr.cbkanna and you can follow our instagram account instagram.com techno.tf where you will get the time to time update regarding various companies question okay so thank you for today's session